While Hallmark Christmas films are usually pretty festive, very few are the embodiment of Christmas in the way that A Cheerful Christmas is. This is also known as Christmas Coach and was released in 2019. It's directed by Marita Grabiak and written by Barbara Kimlicka. And I apologise if I've mispronounced any of those names or any going forward. And this one stars Chad Connell as James and Erica Deutschman as Lauren. Lauren, I would say she's very well acted. Um, there is a lot of energy and enthusiasm that goes into this character and Erica Deutschman gives a fantastic performance. But the character herself is a little bit annoying. She is a little bit too enthusiastic sometimes. So that's something to kind of consider because she never she never really hits a low point with the narrative for her which is a bit unusual because there's not you know it doesn't really follow the traditional action of a narrative but I'll talk a little bit about that but I'm not going to spoil anything so the description from IMDB kind of sums it up nicely with uh, without spoiling anything and this says a woman and her best friend think they landed the job of their dreams by giving people a, a by giving people a great Christmas until they get a client who doesn't feel the same way. To be honest, that's a little bit vague. Basically, Lauren is part of a duo who runs this company called the Christmas Coaches, and they are there to help people put together a Christmas, whether that's a Christmas party, to do the decorations in their house in the run up to Christmas. If it's Christmas based, they are there to help, kind of like party planners of the Christmas season, and. She has been asked to decorate this really beautiful, beautiful house for this family who were referred to as something like the 53rd in line for the throne of the UK or something like that. I can't remember the number, but they were royals in some way. They were English living in America. And the only family member in that house is James. And he is not exactly into the Christmas spirit. He has fond memories of Christmas, but nowadays he honestly doesn't care. And Lauren takes it upon herself not only to decorate the house in this beautiful way, but to convince James that there is such joy in gift giving and of enjoying decorations and embracing the Christmas spirit. And she obviously does a, a you know a great job of that from her own perspective. She's very, very enthusiastic. And if you don't like Christmas, she will probably change her mind because she's just oozing joy and festive fun. And that's pretty much all that happens. I'm not going to say how it concludes itself. Obviously, as the film progresses, the house becomes more decorated. She's got tasks like buying presents for family members and she has to help with... Um, you know, preparing everything for the Christmas ball that the family is hosting. But there's no real conflict. It's not like, say, for example, Hallmark films where somebody thinks they're going to get a promotion in the run-up to Christmas, they get a phone call saying they're no longer up for that promotion and they reassess their lives. There's, there's nothing like that. There's no pivotal turning point in this film. There's nothing that turns the action around or makes our protagonist begin to question things. Obviously, there is the romantic interest between Lauren. Well, Lauren is romantically interested in James, but he being a lord and Lauren being just Lauren, obviously, she doesn't think that's ever going to work out. So there's a little bit of an an emotional journey for her, but it's not the most well-developed, intricate narrative. But when it comes to Hallmark Christmas films, I don't care. Obviously, there are some amazing Hallmark Christmas films that have got fantastically gripping, juicy narratives that perfectly blend festive and fascination. But a lot of their Christmas films are also just really easy to watch. And you don't need to worry about dramatic narratives because they're just fun and festive and pleasant in their own ways. So it's not the biggest disappointment. But I do think, you know, we never really found out too much about Lauren as a person. We don't really know that much about her background or what she does in her spare time or, you know, what she does when she goes home in the evening after a day at work. It is pretty much all set in this house, give or take. So it's really not very well developed at all, but it's still really enjoyable because where it lacks in narrative structure, 
it really makes up for it in how festive it is. And it really is very festive. So if you're looking to get into the Christmas spirit, without question, a cheerful Christmas or Christmas coach is definitely a good one to go with for that. 